There's a lot of people who say Russian sounds similar to other languages. Some say it sounds like Portuguese, others say it sounds like Polish, which makes sense since they're both Slavic languages. And some people say it sounds like backwards English for some reason. But one language I never hear compared to Russian is that of a nearby neighbor, Japanese. Which when first thinking about it, it sounds absurd to compare the two as sounding similar. Japanese has nearly all the open syllables such as neko, mizu, kawa, and tenki. While Russian has a lot of consonant clusters and relatively lax phonotactics, leading to long combinations of sounds that others might find hard to pronounce like in gidye, vstretit, and mgovenia. Russian also has heavy vowel reduction, where vowels get reduced to a uh, and i, such as in oblka and zensina. While vowels in Japanese don't really get reduced. And while this is all true, comparing the phonology of the two languages, I see a surprising amount of similarities between them. And it's just too cool not to talk about. For one, pretty much every single consonant in Russian and Japanese has a corresponding similar sound to the other language. Here's a chart with the Russian consonant inventory. Here's Japanese's. And here's both of them with the similarities and differences highlighted. As you can tell, pretty much every single one of them aligns, or at least gets pretty close to each other. The main discrepancies are between Russian V and Japanese W, which while distinct, speakers of either language might not be able to tell the difference, though Japanese W is realized as one of many different ways depending on the variety of Japanese being spoken. The other discrepancy is the L R distinction found in Russian, but not Japanese, which only has R. But as with W, the Japanese R phoneme is quite variable, and in some varieties can even be a L. One realization in particular, RA, sounds, to my ears at least, like it's between L and R. Both languages can be classified as having five vowel systems, a, e, i, o, and u, though the Japanese u is realized closer to u, similar to the English u as in book. Russian disputably has a sixth vowel, u, though with mostly complementary distribution with the vowel i. Japanese has this exact vowel too, as an alternate pronunciation of u in some contexts. However, if we take a look at Cyrillic, the alphabet used to write Russian, you'll see ten vowel letters instead of five or six. This is because Russian distinguishes between hard and soft consonants, non-palatalized and palatalized. In basic terms, soft consonants have a y sound following them, and hard consonants don't. With five of the vowels corresponding to palatalized consonants, and the other five corresponding to hard consonants. Each of these vowels can be described as an allophone of a, e, i, o, and u respectively. Japanese also has palatalization. The vowel i palatalizes consonants it comes after, and there are also glides ya, yo, and yu and many of the palatalized consonants in either language appear similar to each other. This is prevalent in both languages because soft or palatalized consonants appear all the time in Russian, and in Japanese, a ya glide is the only sound that can follow a consonant at the beginning of syllables, and appears all the time in Chinese loanwords, of which Japanese has a lot. These aforementioned features combine to make words generally seem a little similar between Japanese and Russian, but the words where the similarity is most striking is in adjectives. In Japanese, all verb-like adjectives end in i, either as ai, i, oi, or ui. Russian has a lot more endings than this, due to adjectives having to agree with nouns for case, gender, and plurality. The dictionary form, the singular nominative masculine form, is almost the exact same as the i ending in Japanese. There are also demonstratives, which act similarly to adjectives, that have the oi ending, such as kakoi and inoi. Of course, Russian has lots of consonant clusters, while Japanese in contrast barely has any only involving double consonants or the nasal coda n. But this is only the case phonemically. In many varieties of Japanese, the vowels i and u can be devoiced between voiceless consonants or at the end of words. This makes some words sound like they have no vowel and have word final consonants and consonant clusters. This does have its limits. Only voiceless consonants can appear at the end of syllables this way, and voiced ones can't, which is somewhat similar to in Russian, where voiced consonants ba, da, ga, va, za, and zha voice to pa, ta, ka, fa, sa, and sha at the end of words and before a voiceless consonant. So if we compare the possible coda consonants now, we see they're pretty similar, at least at the end of words. Of course, there are reasons why no one thinks of Russian as sounding like Japanese, especially because of all the vowel reduction in Russian, which causes words that otherwise would seem like Japanese ones in writing to be pronounced quite a bit differently. Plus, languages leave a distinct pattern of sound and languages sounding similar to each other is not the norm. But it also baffles me how these languages have so many similarities in their phonologies and syllable structure, especially since you wouldn't expect to find so many similarities between them. And this isn't just the case with Japanese and Russian. You could probably find similarities that all sorts of languages have with each other, despite them not being related. That's all I have to say. 
До свидания. Матане.